understand that. Babysitter Steve. Mom. Steve. Alas, an irate Billy comes by looking for Max, and he and Steve end up in an epic fight. Uh, one that is actually ended by Max who threatens to nail that bill. Yes, that's why they call her that Max. Hey, ready? Did she give me back my phone? Joyce, Jonathan, and you know, they try to exercise oh, the shadow monster who will or completely consumes using the only weapon they know hurts him. Meanwhile, Steve and the kids head down in the tunnels to try and burn up the monster with some gas. It's hard to imagine they'll be able to do what a bunch of soldiers with flamethrowers couldn't. It's just crazy. And of course, no monster could be fully defeated without that. With a long side of the monster, and his hopper fires off a machine gun at the Demitogs, swarming all around them, unleashes her powers to fully close the gate in the top of the sky. I thought it was your friend thing. Way to go. Cut to a month later, where the government finally was forced to admit their role in the death of Bart and Bob. The office lab is shut down. And as a nice little wrap up for our heroes, all the kids end up at the school snowball, where Dustin has, let's say, new hairdo. Elf shows up looking very dolled up to dance with Mike, and oh, they finally kiss. And oh, Lucas and Max are a couple now. <laughs> Unfortunately, in Drew Hawkins' form, the final shot went that stuff is about to get extremely real for the kids in season three. Check it out.